What's going on guys? So I'm out here in the hardwoods doing a little mushroom hunting today and I came across Maripulus sumstinii, which is the black staining polypore. If you're interested, stick around. All right, there it is. This is a very, very young one. And actually this is an edible mushroom. So this would be a perfect stage to harvest uh, if you're going to eat this mushroom. But I want to show you something. Let me try to break a little bit of this off right here. I want to show you. See how tough it is? All right, very, very stringy uh, mushroom, which is why you want to eat it at this stage right here. Now check this out. I want to show you how stringy this actually is. I mean, you can see, I mean, it's just, that's how it breaks. It just comes apart very, very stringy. And the larger it gets, the tougher it is. So if you're going to try to eat this mushroom, this is when you, this is when you do it. I mean, you, you got to harvest them when they're this size right here. And this is a, a polypore mushroom. So you're not going to find any gills on the undersides of these guys. Okay, if you look right here, you can see where it's had some damage when it was a little bit younger and you can see the black staining going on through here. Now it does take some time. Sometimes they stain immediately and then sometimes it takes, you know, I don't know, 30 minutes or so uh, for the black to show up. And it doesn't always stain black. Sometimes it's a lighter brownish color. Um, also, in this stage right here, this is really when you can get it confused for hen of the woods. You know, I, see, I hear people, at, you know, saying, oh, I found some hen of the woods and it's, you know, in the middle of the summer and I'm going, no, 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 you didn't. <laughs> and nine times out of 10, what they found was the black staining polypore because you can look, I mean, if you take a look at these fronds, I mean, they, they really do kind of resemble uh, hen of the woods. Uh, now, as this mushroom gets a lot, it's going to get, these fronds are going to get a lot bigger as this mushroom gets older. Uh, and it really won't look like Hen of the Woods at that point. This, in my opinion, is when you can really get it confused. But the thing to remember about Hen of the Woods is uh, it, that's a fall mushroom. This is a summer mushroom. So the only time you're going to find these guys will be in the summer month. I typically find them in uh, July through August, sometimes in June. Uh, but after August in my neck of the woods, I typically don't find these guys. Uh, and Hen of the Woods shows up um, sometimes late September, October for me. So anyway, the black staining polypore, how cool is that? Also, these uh, mushrooms are typically associated with oak trees and there's a big oak right there, big red oak. Um, however, I do have a pine super close and I, I don't know if it's growing off the pine uh, root system or not, it is a saprophytic mushroom, so uh, I, I guess it could be. I mean, we've got this large root system right here just coming right through here, so uh, I guess it could be coming off the pine. Not sure, but typically, typically these guys are associated with the oak tree, um, and there's one right there. But also, let me show you something else. Right over here is another one, and it looks like uh, you can see it's not quite as big. Uh, but definitely, you know, it's got the fronds coming. Let's see. Let me pull off another piece of this if I can. Now you can see the polypores underside right there. Um, I, I really am hoping to see if this thing will stain out. Usually when they do stain, it's on the underside. So if I mash it, maybe we can get it to stain. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes. Now look at the side right there where I tore it off and right in this area right there you can see it's a lot browner than it was also the ones that I pulled off are a lot darker they've started to bruise and turn black you can see right here on this one that's my thumbprint right there and this one as well and it's got kind of a it's got some dark going on got a black happening right there um, primarily brown though but uh, given enough time I bet it'll turn black super cool though check that out that's how it gets its name the black staining polypore very cool okay so I went ahead and harvested a few pieces here I'm gonna take you back to the house and we'll cook this up okay so the only reason I really brought these guys home was to illustrate two things number one how chewy they are I mean these guys are super chewy even at this young age 
and I want to show you what happens to them when you cook them. But before we can cook them, we got to clean them up. So, you know, it's okay to get this mushroom wet. Just go ahead and run it under some water. Really just give it a good rinse. I, I made sure I didn't have too much dirt and debris on these guys when I brought them home. Um, and then after that, we're ready to go. We're going to get a little bit of garlic, a little bit of butter, and put these guys straight in the pan and let her have it. Okay, so when we first start cooking this mushroom, you'll notice it, it has basically a, a normal color, but as time goes on, it's gonna get darker and darker and darker. Obviously, that's one of the reasons they call it the black staining polypore, it stains black. Take a look at how dark these guys get. I mean, it's really just not that appetizing. All right, so let's give these guys a try. You know, the flavor's good. But it is, it's extremely chewy. Um, I don't even know if I'd recommend uh, using this mushroom in a soup stock. I mean, it's, I guess you could. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't recommend this mushroom at all. I mean, just because you can eat something doesn't mean that you should. Uh, I, it, it reminds me a lot of, in, in terms of edibility, uh, as Old Man of the Woods. Uh, I certainly wouldn't. That's more of a survival mushroom in my opinion, and I would probably categorize this one in the same way. The Black Staining Polypore. Hey, thanks for spending your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe. Slap that like button around a little bit. I'll talk to you. See you later. Bye.